Hello everyone, I am Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC giving you a closer look at the V2 Enig Pro lock-on grips from ODI. Alright, so today we're giving you a closer look at the all-new Enig Pro V2 lock-on grip coming from ODI. Now if you're grip shopping, you know as well as I do, we have a lot of different options when it comes to grips at Rocky Mountain, but chances are lock-on grips on your radar, probably know somebody that has a set, I myself personally, I've been running lock-on grips for years. I'm a huge fan for a couple of reasons. One, I love the durability of a lock-on grip. I'll explain a little bit more about that, but also ease of install. There is no grip that is easier to install than a set of lock-on grips. I'll talk about that a little bit more, but those are a couple of reasons that I love them. Now with the new Enig Pro lock-on grip, this is all new for 2019. Now for you riders out there that maybe have the old Enig lock-on grip, that is not going away. It's gonna stay here, so if you're a fan of that grip, you can still continue to buy it, but my opinion, there's a couple of things with that grip that I felt need to be a little bit better. They have addressed those issues, and I think that this new Emig Pro is a whole lot better, and I'll explain why here in just a moment. But with lock-on grips, let's just talk about these real quickly. So the way these are constructed is pretty unique. You've got a plastic sleeve on the clutch side as well as the throttle side, and then you have the rubber compound of the grip that is molded on. So like I said earlier, how easy are these to install? Honestly, it takes you a couple minutes. You don't need any grip glue, no safety wire. So on the clutch side, all you're gonna do, take the grip that you have on right now, take it off, clean off your handlebar, slide the, th the clutch side on. Once you've done that, rotate it where you want it. You'll notice on the inside here, you've got this aluminum cap or this aluminum ring. All you're gonna do is just take an Allen key, tighten that down, get it nice and snug, and the grip's gonna be locked on in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. I've never had a lock on grip slip on me before, so that's a, a concern that you have. Just throw that out the window. So that's how easy it is to install the clutch side. As for the throttle side, you're gonna notice same thing. You're gonna have a plastic sleeve with a grip molded on, but what's unique is that this side, the throttle tube, you're just gonna slide it on and install it the exact same way you would any other stock throttle tube. So you're gonna see you got multiple cams that are gonna come included with these grips. So these are bike specific, so you're gonna enter the make, the model, and the year of your bike when you're picking up your set because, like I said, you're gonna have a lot of different cams coming included in the packaging. They will tell you, take your throttle side, and just pull out this little instruction packet here inside of it, and this will actually tell you what cam you will need to install in order for it to work for your bike. But now let's talk about this grip and what they've done to improve it. I had a long conversation with Jeff Emig about these. He was heavily involved. It took them a while to get these exactly how they wanted it, but overall the end product, like I said, I think they did a fantastic job. So with the grip itself, here's the big improvements that they have made that I think make this grip a lot better than the previous version. They're now utilizing a softer rubber compound than before. So the previous Emigs, I felt like they had great durability, but just a little tough on the hands. So now you're using a softer rubber compound. If you're familiar with the V2 lock-on grips or half waffle design, to me, it has a very similar feel as the rubber that they use for the V2 lock-on. So softer rubber compound, also the diameter has gone down. That was another thing for me with the standard Emig that I wasn't a huge fan of. To me, the diameter felt just a little bit large. I'm a rider, I have pretty small hands. So they have decreased the diameter of this new Emig Pro to be about the same as their V2 half waffle lock-on, which, which is the grip that I run that I think has a nice thin feel to it. So I'm glad that they improved those two spots. Also, what's cool is that if you look close, it's gonna be hard to see on camera, but this grip actually has a convex shape to it. In other words, it's only about a millimeter, but what it does, it actually comes up towards the center and then tapers down. And the reason that they do that is to have it fit the shape of the rider's hand just a little bit better. Now up on the top here, you're gonna see, you've got the Enig logo. And what's cool about this logo is you can see, you've got these ribs that are going the same direction as the grip. Well, the purpose for that is that when the rider grabs it, it's actually gonna help fit right there in the palm the contour of the rider's hands. So I can actually feel those ribs when I grab this grip. So I like that pattern that they have there. The knurling is gonna be a little bit deeper than the previous Emig as well. So a little bit better feel there. That's where you're getting a little bit of that softer feel. And also you'll notice you've got these traction ribs. So what's cool about these three ribs that you have here going across is that these two upper ones are actually undercut. So they kind of slope down in the same direction that you'd be gripping it, but because they're undercut, as you're pulling back on the grip, that undercut is gonna offer a little bit more traction. So I like how, I just like everything that they've done, just improve the overall feel of it. Now, when I talked about earlier, I talked about durability. That's another thing that I love about lock-on grips is I think they're just more durable, and here's why. When you look at the end of this grip, you'll notice you've got this hard plastic piece on the very outside, but what's new with the Enig Pro is that now they're actually using an aluminum end cap versus just plastic. 
So underneath this black plastic piece, you can see that aluminum there. It's got that bronze color. It's something that ODI, I think, is, does really well. A lot of cool colorways, cool look to the bike. But you have their aluminum end cap, which is actually molded to the plastic sleeve. And what's cool about that end cap is it actually goes over the handlebar just a few millimeters. So that means that if you have a crash or something as simple as a tip over, well, you're much, much less likely to damage the grip or even tear the rubber. Because you'll notice here that the rubber comes to the very end, but it ends where it comes up. So you don't have any rubber on the very outside. So you don't have to worry about that tearing when your bike does fall over. So overall, like I said, the durability is awesome. Now, one thing with these you do need to keep in mind is that with the previous MIGs, you can knock out the end caps on those to run full wraparound handguards. They've really designed this more with off-road motocross riders in mind. So these aluminum end caps are not designed to break out. So if you buy these grips, just know you're not going to be able to run full wraparound handguards with these. But that is it. That is the all-new V2 MIG Pro lock-on grip coming from ODI. Like I said, all-new for 2019. I'm a big fan. I honestly think this is going to be my next personal grip. I think they did a great job. If you guys have any other questions or comments about these, we're happy to answer those, so leave those below. Remember guys, if you like this product spotlight, we'll get subscribed to our YouTube channel that we stay up to date. And to pick up your next set of grips, it's real simple, just click on the link at the end of this video. Don't forget, orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight, well, make sure to get subscribed. I am Chase, we'll see you on the trails.